It's almost 5.45 and a Tampa native is using her diabetes diagnosis to inspire and teach children facing that same reality. Antoinette Watkins created the Diabetes Organization. And in this week's For the Culture, we're taking a look at how she's giving scholarships to minority families who are learning to cope with the disease. I, at the time, thought that I did something wrong. At six years old, Antoinette Watkins' life changed forever. My parents took me to the doctor's office because they thought I had a urinary tract infection. Turned out that my blood sugar was over 900. She was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. It's a disease where your pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin. And managing that disease can be pretty tough for a kid. Leaving the class to have to go take insulin with the nurse before I eat lunch, you know, I had to separate myself a lot just to take care of myself. That feeling of isolation eventually faded thanks to Watkins attending Florida Diabetes Camp annually at Camp Winona, an experience that inspired her nonprofit organization, Diabati. I wanted to be able to find other type 1 diabetics, especially other type 1 diabetics that look like me, and that's why we provide scholarships for children of minorities to go to camp because I didn't see a lot of people who looked like me at Diabetes Camp. Diabetes camp can range from $600 to $3,000, and it helps children learn how to live with the disease. In four years, Watkins has sent four kids to camp and also mentors dozens of young diabetics like Amaris Molina. So seeing Antoinette do all these great things for kids and seeing her be so proud of her diabetes is something that like really good for me seeing that I can do that when I get older. Molina was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 10 years old. Her journey, similar to Watkins. So just like knowing that I would have to walk around with people hearing me beep and seeing people and people seeing me having to give myself shots and take finger pokes. I thought it was just going to be like the end of the world for me. But thanks to camp, family support, and mentors like Antoinette, Molina is now helping raise money for diabetes scholarships. Going to diabetes camp made me feel really confident with my diabetes. So just knowing that I can like help send other kids to camp is a really big thing for me. I want to create safe spaces in multiple different areas. You are a diabetic and you're beautiful, and you're type 1 diabetic, and you're black, and you're still still that girl. <laughs> Antoinette, only 24 years old, and she's killing it. So congratulations to her. Amaris Molina donated $1,700 to the Diabati organization. So now Antoinette is looking for at least three minority children to send to diabetes camp. If you know anyone who can actually benefit from these scholarships, you can head to WFLA.com and check out this story. It's about 547.